Hi again. I'm Linda Rivero, founder of 55 and Boulder. And here we are today to talk about how to create the life that you love, step four, using the science of your brain. 55 and Boulder, as you know, through 55 and Boulder, I work with mature women who are struggling with the loss of a loved one and are finding themselves feeling lonely or isolated and just unhappy. Together, we work to uncover the passionate, purpose-driven direction of each woman that will give her life renewed meaning and leave her feeling fulfilled and thrilled and fabulous. And of course, working through the loss is part of that. Over our three fa Facebook lives that we've been here together, we've been talking about finding a path from where you are now to where you want to go. We've talked about the fundamental importance of knowing exactly who you are at this time in your life. Who are you now? We've talked about your dreams, where you want to go, and how important it is to dream big. And I offered you five questions to help you think through that, as well as the secret sauce to make it all work. And we've talked about obstacles, the things that get in our way, how deep they run, and how we all face obstacles, and how they're pretty much everywhere. Okay, good. So imagine yourself now. You've done the work, and you're clear on who you truly are deeply at this point in your life. You've done the work and you know what your heart is calling you to do or become at this point in your life. And you've done the work. You've identified the obstacles you're facing, both external and internal, and you have a strategy for obliterating them. Great. Now it's time for action. Ah, but this requires faith and courage. Maybe you've always wanted to write poetry, but you never, you never thought you could do it. No one ever told you that you could. And so over all these years, you just kept that dream to yourself. Or maybe you've always felt quietly, but in your bones that you could create beautiful watercolors. You just felt that so deeply. You just had a feeling that you could do it, but no one saw that in you and no one ever said, Hey, did you ever think about painting watercolors? I bet you'd be great. No one ever said that. And as a result, neither did you. You get the idea. You feel in your heart deeply that there is a new you, a new version of you forming and aching to come forth or maybe screaming to come forth. For me, I know it was screaming. So now we face the last remaining big peace, believing that what you want is possible, believing that you can develop the skill necessary to be what and who you want to be. But I've never done that, you worry. How can I possibly learn that, do that at this age? Well, my beautiful friends, I am here to tell you with scientific backing that you can learn new skills that you're dreaming of at any age. You can. Let's look at Simon. This is his true story. A horrible hit and run accident left Simon so broken that the paramedics, when they arrived on the scene, initially believed he was dead. But no, Simon wasn't dead. But his brain injury did destroy a third of his right hemisphere and caused severe internal bleeding. When the doctors evaluated him, he scored only three points on the Glasgow Coma Scale. The Glasgow Coma Scale is a medical scale that objectively measures the extent of impaired consciousness. People with a Glasgow Coma Scale of only three, like Simon, have a 7% chance of survival with a good outcome if they remain in that state for less than two weeks. Simon was in a coma for a month, over a month. When Simon finally woke up, 
He had almost no awareness of his surroundings. He had forgotten how to read, how to write, and he could barely understand the words that others were saying to him. His attention span was minimal, and he even scored 50 on the IQ test, and that's the lowest score possible. Needless to say, his doctors predicted that he would have to depend on others for the rest of his life. But Simon was fortunate. He had the help of a therapist who refused to give up on him despite medical diagnoses and prognoses. And she made him work on cognitive therapy activities three times a week. And by the time she finished with him, his mental abilities had more than doubled. After only two years, Simon went from practically helpless to living on his own with only minor assistance. Imagine. Today, Simon has regained nearly all his cognitive function and he now has an IQ that measures 151. He's even written a best-selling book about his amazing recovery. His book is entitled Rise and Shine, The Extraordinary Story of One Man's Journey from Near Death to Full Recovery, if you'd like to look it up and maybe even read it. So yes, you can teach an old brain new tricks. You can even teach a severely injured brain new tricks. You can learn the skills you dream of having whether you're 55, 65, 75, 85, as long as you're living and breathing, your brain is there ready, willing, and able to learn whatever skills you want it to learn. It's up to you. If the idea of recreating yourself and recreating your life strikes you or inspires you, that's great. That's so great. And where you go from here is entirely your call and I can help. Next Tuesday, December 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern, I will host a free masterclass, the Women Living Boulder Masterclass, the fast path to uncovering what's next after your loved one is gone. I invite you to attend, there's no charge and it's loaded with inspiring insights and information. Just go online to masterclass.55andbolder.co and there you can learn more about what we will cover in the masterclass and you can sign up again for free. You've got nothing to lose and you may just find the information and the inspiration you need to start creating your own next chapter. And of course, if you would like to chat with me personally about how I can help you to move forward into creating the life you love, just send me a private message and I will reach out to you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope this was interesting, inspiring, helpful. I wish you and your loved ones all the very, very best for this holiday season. And I look forward to seeing you on December 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern, masterclass.55 and boulder.co. Bye-bye. Ciao.